Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So today we're doing the Four of Pentacles and the Minor Arcana. We're going to look at the card together and then come back and talk about it in relation to Twin Flames. The Four of Pentacles. So I'm going to go into the main like meaning of it for Twin Flames in a second. But the card itself, obviously it's all about letting go and releasing, you know, not being in fear of losing things. But the angels are showing you here that we always have a choice. And remember, four is about angel protection and being able to ask the angels for assistance and realizing that we're not alone. So this person in this card is controlled in a way by society or what other people think or by fear because he's afraid to let go. He's afraid to let go of the pentacle he's holding, which can symbolize his life, his material world, his lifestyle, things he may have created in his life that he knows it's time to move on from. And the purple energy, because obviously he's got that beautiful purple robe there, is connected with Archangel Jeremiah. And he is the angel of life review. So when this card comes up in a reading, we may need to review our life, to renew our life, because Jeremiah will be nudging us in a different direction or to make new choices, or to do something a different way, which is all about release and letting go. And the red energy connected with Archangel Metatron, the time is now. And the buildings behind him, I see this as society, you know, things that have been built up in his life, and that could be conditioning or programming that needs to be released. So when the Four of Pentacles comes up into a reading, into any reading, it's always a sign to let go and not be afraid of losing things in your life. The Four of Pentacles in a lot of decks are a man sitting on a treasure chest and that treasure chest has got, you know, things in he wants, but he's afraid to get up in case he loses it. So never be afraid to lose things in your life because when God closes a door, he always opens a window. And something better is on the way. And there's always a plan. And the universe always has our back and we are never alone. So don't be afraid to let go because you always gain so much more. It may not happen the way you expect it to happen or in the timing that you want it to happen. But it will always happen the way it's meant to happen with hidden blessings you can't yet see. So the ultimate message of the Four of Pentacles is you are not alone. Whatever happens, you'll be taken care of. There's nothing to fear. Amazing. So you can see how the Four of Pentacles is really just about letting go. And when we let go, we surrender. We give it to heaven. We don't fear the future. It's the ego that makes us cling on. And that's what you can see in the card. You know, he's holding on to that pentacle. So in the twin flame journey, that pentacle can be our twin. We hold on to our twin. And... It reminds me of when we hold a butterfly in our hands. If we squeeze it, it's going to die. It's going to be hurt or harmed. But if we allow it to go, you know, fly around and come and go as it pleases, then it will be a very easy connection. So sometimes we harm our connection by wanting it too much or wanting it a certain way or not trusting in the timing of it all or wanting it on our own terms and we learn to let go because when we do that we pressure and try and push or force it then the masculines usually take a step even further back and yes that step back always leads to steps forward but when they go within we have to learn to let go of control so for the divine feminine the four of pentacles is symbolizing letting go of control and letting the universe take the lead, allowing the divine masculine to take the lead in the connection, to step forward. And for the divine masculine, this is about them letting go of fear, you know, the, the letting go of what they may have been holding on to, which could be a lifestyle, it could be a comfort zone, you know, not necessarily a karmic partner because they want to be with that person, but because they've got used to being in that relationship. They've got used to what it means. So starting again or, you know, beginning again, it can be very scary. So this is 
letting go of the fear of what's next. Letting go of the fear because when we let go of control, we don't know what to expect. We have to let the universe step in. So the Four of Pentacles is really about surrender and letting go. And it, with this, you know, with connected with career or anything else, it can be connected with letting something go to create something better. You know, sometimes we're afraid to leave a job because it's where our security is. Or we're afraid to walk away from a certain thing because we don't know what the future holds. But there's always something better being created. They're just giving me that kind of picture in my mind of what goes around social media. You've got Jesus who is, is holding behind his back a huge new teddy bear. And a little girl is holding on to, you know, her teddy bear that she's got used to. But it's dirty, it's tattered, it's falling to pieces. And Jesus wants her to give it to him so he can replace it with something brand new and even better. And yes, sometimes we want to hold on to the past and we want to hold on to what we used to. But we just have to give it to God and trust the journey. And that's really what the Four of Pentacles is. So this energy is about surrender and letting go. And, you know, not being in fear about things. Because when we're in this energy, you know, they're giving me like the energy of the miser. You know, a miser holds everything to his chest, his money, he doesn't give anything away. And on this journey, it's about give and take. It's about giving and receiving. We have to give to receive because, you know, it's an energy. What we give out, we get back. It's an energy. So when we give money, even if we don't want to, somehow it finds its way back. It's more likely to come back to you quicker if you give it with love and understanding and peace. You know, if you pay your bills with peace, you're going to receive that money back because you're grateful for that service you're receiving. If you pay your bills and you're angry and frustrated and, you know, you're gossiping about it all the time, then it's going to bring more pain in and more bills and more struggle. It's all about energy. So when we hold on to something, it's this painful energy and it can create ugliness within us, which is shown on the outside. You know, desperation energy. It's, it's very gnarly. It reminds me of like an old wicked witch, you know, that you see on films like this, like, you know, the cartoons where they're like this, you know, because we are clinging on. But when we let go and we stop clinging on, it's like all the lines on our face disappear. It's like we have a spiritual facelift because we're no longer holding on or, you know, grabbing on or clinging on we just have to let go so let go when you get this card and don't be afraid of that so let go of the fear of letting go again remember that butterfly it's all about transformation it's all about change the butterfly comes to you it comes to you because it wants to and it sits in your hand and it stays because it wants to not because you're forcing it by closing your hand you're going to damage that butterfly you're going to damage its wings or its beauty so allow things to come and go in your life freely, knowing that what's meant for you will be for you. What is truly for you in this lifetime will be for you in this lifetime. So we have to surrender and let go of the fear of letting go. Because sometimes we think, well, what if I don't communicate? What if I don't reach out and he doesn't? He doesn't communicate. What if I never see him again? What if I let go and he's already let go? We go through all these things and it's all fear-based. It's Ego, edging the goodness out, it's a false experience appearing real of a what-if scenario that never really comes to pass in the way we think about it. Because we always blow everything out of proportion in our mind. So the feminine saying, I'm afraid to let go, but I'm learning how to trust the journey. So when the four of pentacles comes up, you know you're learning. You're learning to trust the journey, you're learning to allow the masculine to take the lead. You're learning to trust in the timing of it all and the reasoning behind it all. So you start understanding more and more why there's a karmic partner or why there's a delay or, you know, what you're being healed by when you get triggered. And the four of pentacles for the masculine says, I'm afraid of losing everything I've worked for in my life, but I won't let you go. So again, the masculine may be thinking about his car or his home or his kids or, you know, money in the bank or status or what people will think. And he may be afraid of losing all of that, but he's more afraid of losing you. 
and that will always come before anything else. So when the masculine finally chooses themselves, they always choose you and everything else just kind of goes bye-bye. So the Four of Pentacles coming up in a reading is a big sign to let go, especially if you're concerned about the timing of things or, you know, when something's going to happen or what it is that's going on. Just let go, let go of struggle, let go of doubt, let go of fear let go of pain and replace it with faith and love and hope and understanding and that's when the miracle comes in. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.